Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. We're doing Soul Family Read this morning, 9th of December, 2021. Holy moly. Let's leave it at that. It's a collective read for whoever resonates. It's really a timeless read. I give it a date. I think you, I list all of them in, uh, on my channel, so you can go back and watch them at any point. It's uh, just a journey, because it's kind of like my reading, too, and I don't normally read for myself. So, uh, Sagittarius Sun here, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars. <laughs> uh, and uh, we do, I mentioned, especially because here we do have Temperance, the bottom of the deck here in this little four-card reading. So, I do weigh that heavily. You know, it's uh, so much a sense of being protected here with temperance, just the angelic aspect and the protection. Um, it, I'm getting that it's a, like a just, it's like a personal little joke. It's like, a, do the trust fall into the arms of the universe? I think this is going to end up, before you even look at these cards, um, I already got the feeling, um, like um, it's Wednesday, hump day. Um, now we're, God, we're moving to this incredible solstice and full moon, um, and I feel like, uh, we're protected, it's really important, um, I mean, so long as we act with integrity, uh, we're, like, literally protected, this is powerful energy, I feel, I'm really feeling this myself, too, thank you, God, thank you, Spirit, gracias a Dios, I say now, trying my best to learn Spanish. But then uh, we move into the reality of our 3D world um, with the five of wands, and these are actions. Um, really, I think with this, this is kind of the position of where are we in terms of relationships, love, manifestation, spirituality. How are we centered? Where are we at right now? Um, and this is the energy of, like, training. It's... Um, uh, effort, actions, uh, you see they're, they're really just kind of the, always point out the boys uh, fighting here, playing, um, learning. So, but um, the skills they seek to have are those of a knight. So eventually, you know, they want to be a warrior, go out and, and kill people, keep that in mind. So there's a very, um, a very serious intention to this energy here. Um, and I think we've been going through this for a long time, um, it's uh, also the, uh, you know, s sword in the fire, hardening of the sword, hardening of the metal, in this energy, I want to uh, uh, look at as, uh, this is what's ch uh, challenging us, but uh, what's blocking us, you could say, so... You know, yeah, you really, when you get into the minor arcana with these and, you know, Seven of Pentacles, I think you just reverse it um, because, you know, this is a good card. This is, you know, it really depicts it well. This is the uh, Ethereal Visions Illuminate Tarot. You know, he's just standing there, uh, you know, assessing his uh, work, his cross. Like, he's kind of probably thinking, like, wow, you know, it's been a long summer and I got up every morning and went to bed late and... Here's my crops, and you know, did that does that work out well for me or no? Um, so this is often the energy of not feeling reciprocated, um, and I, I feel like here this is like uh, the um, not being reciprocated um, by spirit, really, um, not being reciprocated in by life. It's uh, <clears throat> that's the energy here, like. Also, this is the feeling of, you know, having to, if not uh, work for everything you get, almost the feeling you have to fight for everything you get. There's a lot of personal energy here. All of these, these Seven of Cups even, we'll get to. This is advice from Spirit. But wow, um, this is what's blocking. And this is so often what we need to do, make that. This is a realistic uh, 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 assessment, you know, of the situation. Um, but, so that's what's challenging us. For some reason, we're not willing to do it. Maybe it's like with this Five of Wands energy, we're feeling like we're on the defensive. You know, too much to really stop and really make a hard assessment of what's actually going on here. Um, and this is advice from Spirit with the Seven of Cups. 
I, I, I don't think I've ever said this before that a card was a warning, but I feel this is a warning here. And um, it's not a warning about like death or anything. It's like uh, that it's trying to say that this, this energy and with this being reversed too um, is going to lead us into being like lost emotionally and emotionally unfulfilled, emotionally lost. It's going to lead into like a dead end. That's an emotional dead end here. Um, uh, you know, so uh, whatever process we've been going through of taking action and defending ourselves and keeping our guard up, you know. And for me, I mean, this, at a very spiritual level, it's uh, maybe the ego is not wanting to fully submit to that to being able to truly feel like actually 100% that whatever happens is for my greatest good. Um, and, you know, I think the Seven of Pentacles, too, is gratitude, too, because he's looking at his crop, too, and you can imagine him thinking, well, wow, thank God I've got the crop in, and look at that, it's pretty good, I think we're going to live another day. Um, so there's like a gratitude, but when we're not feeling it, and focusing on having to defend ourselves here and it's just energy this takes a lot of energy fives are a lot of energy so there's a lot of energy going into something that's sort of like uh, not even necessary see there i see they're immature too so i think by making a realistic assessment we can avoid then coming seven of pinnacles now and now with the advice of spirit seven of cups it's no accident, right? Um, one's a lot of action, a lot of activity. Um, you know, seven's a lot of action, too. It's very considered action, you know? Um, and I don't think we want to be in this energy. Uh, this is not emotionally grounded either, right? So, um, I held back only here, the outcome card. So I think it's going to say a lot. <laughs> tower, <laughs> um, the tower reversed. Uh, you know, I don't normally read reversals, but I'll take that. I really want to come. I just felt it in my hand. I came out reversed, and I've, I've been actually went through these cards pretty carefully. Uh, and uh, remember, we have temperance on the bottom. That's very important in this read. So keep that in mind. That's my Sagittarius card. You know, everything's going good. Everything's flowing. We're protected at the deepest level, aligned with our eyes path, the highest good, the ninth house, the highest vibration, and this is coming in reverse because it really needs to happen, it's like, a, God forgive me for using this analogy, but it's just almost like a pimple that needs a pop, <laughs> it's like it's not fun, it's not good, it's not pleasant, you know, it's not going to kill us, but it's something that just needs to end in um, be dealt with, and it's like we really don't want to deal with it. When I see the tower reverse, it's like this energy of the tower reverse is trying to desperately stave off uh, a. It's a finger in the dike, maybe, but the, where it doesn't end well. It's like trying desperately to stave off what you know is a failing anything, you know. Um, you know, here spiritually, like a way that's feeling or something, maybe it's this, you know, I'm pretty damn contentious, I admit it, you know, I've been, you know, we've been duking it out, so, you know, I'm, I'm not the woo-woo guy, really, spiritually, you know, kind of a nuts and bolts, you know, um, stones and sand kind of spiritual guy, and I think there's a lot about submission here, these sevens, you know, spiritual numbers, seven, seven, you know, we, all we need to do is turn this around. It's not blocking us like it's a monster we can't pick up and move. It's simply going like, okay, well, I'm going to stop for a minute, run around in my head in this negative energy of i got to do this, i got to do that. I'm going to focus on what the actual situation is going on in my life. And, you know, I mean, this is uh, pinnacles like the budget, the uh, uh, future budget, the necessities, you know, and... I think what we might find when we turn that around is it's not so bad as we think, you know. And that's what we need in order to not just sort of get stuck. The Seven of Cups, we could just get stuck in this energy, you know, just kind of not really uh, feeling like we're connected and, you know, uh, drifting and 
you don't want that and that's why this has to end you know in this tower you know here we need to turn the tower around make it upright you know and we also need to turn the this around make it upright so it kind of tells us where we need to do our work you know um and the advice is like you know i think it's going to happen it's inevitable we're, we're inexorably moving toward the light if you're on the spiritual path and that's your intention this thing has got to happen so it's only a matter of time and remember this is a lot of reassurance here temperance upright on the bottom of the deck here um i keep talking about like uh you know uh, energetic cavalry come for the whole world it's coming for us i mean everyone's getting bombarded with this energy now for years and you know i think a lot of us are feeling it and all that and it's um it's for real you know so you know it's all right, man. What I say at the beginning, a trust fall. Time to do a trust fall into the arms of the universe. Bingo. Thank you, guys.